episode on Sports Takeoff. Today we're going to work a little bit of a press technique for our DBs here. Uh, and sometimes even for our linebackers if you're in a press position at some point. So what we're going to do is bring a, have a partner come in and we're just working our pretty much our stance and our starts. So we're here. We're going to say that the ball is inside. So we're going to take away the inside position. By take away the inside, I mean our outside foot will be straddling the middle of his body. So let's just say now I'm in my position. One thing we can do at home with limited space is we'll have the receiver take either a step to the right or to the left, and we're just going to take a quick short step mimicking him. So with here, if he goes to the, if he goes to the left, we take a short step. If he goes to the left, short step. If he goes to the right, short step, short step. As a DB or as any defender of man coverage, we're watching the hips, but at our peripheral, we should be able to see his feet. So we're here, once again, mimic, 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 mimic. Once we got our feet, remember, our feet is more important than our hands in press technique. That's one thing people get into press situation and they automatically forget about their feet and they're all focused on trying to jam the receiver. Most important thing is to make sure we're moving our feet to stay in front and shadowing the receiver. And once we get that down, now we can work on bringing the hands to it. Um, as we're in press technique, if the receiver, for me, release inside, if he takes a step inside, I'll take a short step but I'm gonna jam with my outside hand. The key points to remember when doing these drills are number one, your eyes should always be on the wide receiver hips. Number two, see his feet out of your peripheral. Number three, you wanna take the short step in the same direction as the wide receiver while jamming with the opposite hand of his direction. So it's here, he takes a trip. He just works this here. If he's going to the outside, here. Um, I've been a couple places where people have been telling me that they've been taught to jam with the same hand as the way that they're going, but I would suggest against that for one reason. Um, if you're going here and I jam with this same hand, he automatically throws me by. If, I, if we go this way again and I jam with this hand, I'm still here with him, okay? So we want to jam with the opposite hand of the way that the receiver is going. So once again, we're here, eyes on his hip, seeing his feet out of our peripheral. If he's going this way, bah. Bah. If he's going to the other side, bah. Bah. All right, simple tip. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, sportstakeoff.com.